about this one? Speaking of uh, great connections, the company in Skokie is using 3D technology to make face shields for workers battling on the front lines of the virus. Our Audrina Biggis joins us live from her home. Good morning, Audrina. How are you? They're now making 1,000 shields a day. How great is that? Yeah, Ryan and Aaron, good morning. They admit they weren't even sure that they could pull this off, and now they're producing in bulk in just a short time. This is just another example of a local company really stepping up, pivoting the production or pausing the production of what they're normally doing in their warehouses and really stepping up to meet some major needs right now. So I want to show you what we're talking about here. The 3D printed part is actually the blue part you're going to see here. It's the headband. The shield part is a sterilized plastic. Now this technology was actually invented at Northwestern University. Then they got together with Azul 3D and Skokie to commercialize and print part of these face shields. They cover your eyes, your nose, and mouth. So now that they know they can make these, they're working with the FDA to help fast track the approval process. They want to get this to hospitals as soon as possible. Again, they figured out a way to make 1,000 a day with one 3D printer, which is what's needed right now, fast production. If you think about the 3D printer, you might order from Amazon or buy a Home Depot. Uh, those types of printers uh, are about 2,000 times slower than what we're talking about here. What's really interesting about this is this faster 3D technology was just unveiled back in October. And so this just shows this is maybe perfect timing in the middle of a pandemic. All we can hope is that they do get the FDA approval to get these face shields into the places, the hospitals for these workers that need it the most.